Hi everyone. Welcome to Freedom Fitness. In the previous video, we discussed the nervous system and its role in the kinetic chain of human movement. Today, we'll discuss the skeletal system in summary of its role in the kinetic chain of human movement. Okay, um, so let's get right into it. The skeletal system provides the shape and form for our bodies. It supports, protects, and allows movement of the body. It also produces blood and uh, stores minerals, okay? Uh, it's divided into two divisions, the axial division, which is made up of the skull, the rib cage, and the vertebrae, and the appendicular system, which is made up of the uh, excuse me, the upper and lower extremities. Um, <clears throat> it's worth noting that the growth, maturation, and uh, functionality of our skeletal system is largely dependent upon our physical activity, our posture and our nutrition throughout our lives. And we'll bring this point up again later. Um, <clears throat> for this video, we'll be discussing uh, bones and joints of the skeletal system. So, uh, bones provide protection and act as uh, anchors for muscle and connective tissue, while <clears throat> the joints are junctions of bones uh, muscle tissue and connective tissue. Now, uh, where the the bone meets bone, um, the the tip of the bone is there's they're called condyles. There's different types of condyles, but essentially what they they, they are is they're they're shaped in order for the uh, you know the bone to articulate or to move or you know to move. All right, <clears throat> so there are. A number uh, the, the bones do a number of things okay uh, some of them being that they protect our organs they act as anchors for our muscles and connective tissues they act as levers for movement and bearing weight and <clears throat> they provide support for posture now like skin our right, bones are constantly renewing they're regrowing. They're going through a phase called remodeling. All right, and <clears throat> so going back to how uh, the growth, maturation, and functionality of the skeletal system um, are dependent upon uh, our posture, physical activity, and nutrition, um, remodeling okay also will be affected by those things so if we have poor posture then over time the the regrowth of this of bones uh will begin to shape your body that way okay and <clears throat> it can it, what it does is basically reinforces uh predominantly bad postures and movements and so forth and most of this can be you know avoided uh, simply by being aware of um, how we use our bodies uh, you know what um, you know our postures and what we're eating and different things like that uh, but we can save all that for another video uh, <clears throat> the other part of the skeletal system being the joints all right, so we'll, t we'll just kind of elaborate a little bit, summarize. I don't know if we can do elaborating and summarizing in the same uh, setting, but I'll try. So uh, joints are formed by uh, bones that articulate, okay? And this articulation, this movement is made possible uh, by connective tissues <clears throat> and muscle. Okay, and in particular, excuse me, in particularly, the 
ligaments. Okay, and we'll get into those here in just a minute. Uh, there are three types of joints. There's your rolling joint, your sliding or gliding joint, and your spinning joint. Okay, and a rolling joint is sim is what happens uh, in the knee when performing a, a proper squat. And <laughs> excuse me, the uh, a spinning is um, like supination of the forearm. Okay, and sliding or gliding joints are similar to what happens when you, you know, when you wave, okay, that's sliding or gliding, for example. There, <clears throat> um, so let's get into the ligaments. Well, ligaments play an important role in the joints in that the ligaments connect directly to the nervous system, okay, and what ligaments do is they they connect bone to bone. Okay, they um, provide stability. Um, they guide our movement. Okay, uh, they limit. They excuse me. They limit improper movements. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> hyperextension of a knee, for example or hyperextension of an elbow or, you know, ligaments are there to keep uh, the joints from uh, moving in a, in a manner that isn't uh, practical for the body or, or could be a danger or could injure the body in some way. And so if you've, uh, if you've been out running or pounding the pavement and different things like that, uh, the ligaments are going to uh, absorb some of that impact as well. Okay, um, and so it's going to be important that you allow time to recover your ligaments. All right, otherwise, again, you know, you're running the risk of injury. Okay, we, and there's just no sense in that. So. Uh, for example, lots of if you're doing like uh, things like deadlifts and uh, stuff like that, that's uh, it, it's it puts a lot of weight on the joints. Okay, it puts a lot of uh, stress right there, and the same with squats and you know different things. You're lifting heavy weights and stuff like that. You're putting stress on your ligaments, and so let's give an example here. Uh, <clears throat> the ligament connected to the ner you know nervous system. So I was saying the nervous system um, gathers and interprets data and then provides a, a response based on you know the uh, internal and external stimuli in the environment. Okay, so let's say that uh, <clears throat> you're doing a deadlift and you feel like your knee moves a certain way that it should okay you're lifting the weight and you're, you're maybe your posture you know anything can happen that's why it's important to pay attention but let's say for example that you're you have a slight movement in your knee and there's like a you know there's a sharp feeling okay of discomfort okay that is more than likely the ligament saying hey wait a minute what's going on around here Okay, this isn't natural. All right, so in summary, once again, like muscle, okay, bone is living tissue that gets stronger with exercise. All right, greater bone mass um, is another uh, benefit of exercise, okay, and this is important, um, especially important for older folks and women, and people with um, that have been diagnosed diagnosed with osteoporosis. Okay, exercise can can help with that. All right. <clears throat> um, all right sorry, I'm just adjusting my camera. Um, so, what kind of exercises? 
help to strengthen our bones and toughen up our ligaments and um, it, it, it's going to be things like resistance training, walking, um, body weight squats, push-ups, uh, running and jogging, um, dancing, you know, some heavy dancing. Uh, all this is beneficial to the, uh, you know, getting the maximum bone density possible, okay? <clears throat> there are a couple of exercises that uh, they have other benefits, but they have no benefit whatsoever on really on uh, strengthening bones and uh, ligaments and things like that um, and that is swimming and bicycling okay there's nothing wrong with it or anything like that I'm saying but swimming and bicycling they don't really play a part in um, in the growth of, of bone okay so that's about it that's some of my streams of thought on uh, the skeletal system, uh, how it functions, what its role is in the kinetic chain of human movement. Um, take care of your, your bones and your joints, folks. All right, have proper posture. And when you go out there for physical activity, Make sure you're using the proper form, okay? It's important. It's not just some silly little thing that people make up, okay? It's for real. I've been doing it all my life. I feel good. All right, I've been taking care of my, my bones and my joints, all right? Muscles and body and so forth, ensuring that I can maintain functionality throughout my entire life okay god will it i will all right so <clears throat> that's it for the day uh probably we'll touch base more on uh you know elaborate more on all these things at a later date but that should do it for now y'all have a good one